Captain America The Winter Soldier is directed by the Russo Brothers and stars Chris Evans, Samuel Jackson, Scarlett Johansson, Anthony Mackie, and somebody else who is The Winter Soldier. So once again, welcome to this Marvel film series. We are now on to phase two. Lastly, I did Iron Man 3. Now we have Captain America 2. So after the events of the Avengers two years ago, Steve Rogers is in the Nationals capital where he is still getting used to being adjusted to this modern time, this new life that he has, which is quite difficult for a person who has been asleep for 70 years. So there is a massive conspiracy within the S.H.I.E.L.D. community and because of that, Steve Rogers and Black Widow team up to, to try and uncover while also facing a mysterious assassin known as the Winter Soldier. Guys, this film, hands down, is pretty much the best Marvel film that I have seen so far yet. And I think it, I think it excels than the first Iron Man because this film is, alongside Avengers, the best Marvel film that I've seen. I'm not going to compare this film to the Avengers because that would just not be fair. Avengers had every superhero. It had Hulk, it had Iron Man, it had Thor, it had Captain America. This film has Black Widow, but obviously it's not on the level of, it's not on the main big level of the Avengers. But still, as a standalone film, it's my favourite so far. This blew me away. This film blew me away. It seems that Marvel has gone to a completely different direction because this film is different. It's different to the first Avenger, Captain America, and it's very different to the Avengers itself. It's its own film, it's its own style, and the Russo brothers do that brilliantly. It's, al it's almost a spy thriller. There are a lot of conspiracies within the S.H.I.E.L.D. which cause them to divide, and Captain America is in between them. He's unsure but he's also trying to find out what the hell is going on. I was absolutely intrigued by this film. It had, it had a lot of tension, it had a lot of suspense throughout. Even the dialogue, the dialogue scenes where it was just them talking, it just allows us to be very interested into what they're actually talking about. And because of the political aspect in this film, this, this is coming from me, I really enjoyed it. Am I a guy who is into politics? Absolutely not. I. I'm nowhere near affiliated with politics in the real world, but I was still very interested into what the topic was because the dialogue and the action scenes were equally as important and equally as interesting in this film, which I loved. I love the first scene in this film. There's, there is something about it where it just seems so simple. Anthony Mackie is introduced. He is going for a run. He is struggling. But Steve Rogers is literally behind him, running very, very fast and says... On your left continuously and there's gig and there's great chemistry there already since they haven't even spoken face to face you see that chemistry you see that affiliation between them and it's such good stuff it's so simple I don't know why but it's just really really nice to see that Captain America is just running superheroes are actually just running doing normal daily life stuff and it relates to us but speaking of Anthony Mackie, this guy is fast, he is strong, and he is a massive comic relief in this film. He's very, very good. He does a great job as the Falcon. When the action sequences come, he is so good. I was very, very happy with his character. Chris Evans is fantastic as usual as Captain America. He does, he does a great job. Scarlett Johansson, my God, she is so awesome in this film. She's so good. Her chemistry with Chris Evans is, it just excels. It's fantastic. The banter b between the two is so funny. She just continuously teases Chris Evans, the Steve Rogers, as to how he has never had a kiss since 1940s about dating. It's just really, really good dialogue and just good conversations. Those small little scenes really do matter a lot and they have a massive impact throughout the entire film, which I just really, really enjoyed. But let's talk about the Winter Soldier. My God, what a character, what a villain. This person had very little dialogue. I'm not gonna say who it was in case you don't want me to spoil anything, but obviously in the next few films, we do find out who he is. And obviously I will spoil it there. This person has very little dialogue in this film. He's a very quiet assassin, which makes him even more terrifying because you don't know when he's about to come. It's so un unexpected, it's so unpredictable, and I love that. And the first encounter that we have between Captain America and the Winter Soldier is just mesmerizing. It was just so jaw-dropping to see them two face-to-face -face because it's just, 
it was just awesome. I guarantee the comic book lovers will just go crazy when that happens. Most of the action sequences barely have any CGI, although we do see some there. It's mostly just hardcore stunt work. It made it seem so real and just so believable, as well as the dialogues and the conspiracies and the politics that are involved in this film. This film just seems so real, that's the thing. It seems like a spy thriller genre, despite it being a superhero. One of my favourite scenes in this film is mostly the, the beginning, because we see Captain America as adjusting to this new life. It's None of us can relate to it, but at the same time we understand what he's going through. This man is 95 years old. The last line of the last film was, I had a date. And it links back to this film. This film links back to the last film of how he had a thing for Peggy Carter. And we see an elderly Peggy Carter just pretty much on her deathbed. And it is just gut-wrenching. It really just pummels you down because you understand the separation that these two had. These two were in love, obviously, and because of him sleeping and pretty much dying um, and being asleep for 70 years, that could obviously never happen. And it's just so heartbreaking to see this scene because I almost cried. I, I almost teared up when I saw this scene because you see the pain that these two have gone through. But let's talk more about the plot. It's so suspenseful. It was full of tension and just riveted me throughout. It does not just rely on pure action. There is more depth to it than that. Both action and the whole plot have equal importance in this film. There are, there are some scenes where it just fully relies on dialogue and it's just as interesting and just as intriguing. This film blew me away throughout this entire thing. Due to the characters setting up so well, being set up so well, in every single part of character development, the political aspect theme of this is so is also set up amazing. Like I said, it's basically a spy thriller and it makes the action sequences even more heightened, even more bigger. But I feel like most of the action scenes, although you see shaky cameras in the film, it's not poorly done, but you see that it's not perfect because of the poor shaky cameras. You see a lot of close-ups, but if you saw a little less of it, it would be perfect. Just little hints of little flaws I perhaps saw that didn't really bother me, but obviously because this film is so well done made, it's so well made, I'm just trying to pick, I'm just finding it difficult to think of small little things. But there is one scene where Captain America and Black Widow go down to a secret tunnel, an organisation where there is a massive computer that comes to life. And I feel like that film, that scene was just five minutes long and those two minutes just sort of went in a completely different direction. It was really weird, it was really confusing and because of that, it didn't really, it didn't really have that much in, impact because it was, it was only two minutes long and it didn't compromise the entire experience of having fun in this film. It's just that sort of thing. I didn't really find that interesting and didn't really fit in with the entire film, so perhaps they could have changed some of the dialogue, link it a little bit better. It would have been more, it would have made a bit more sense. It's just, I just found it quite bizarre. But I'm sure that most comic book lovers will go crazy with that scene because it's a massive reference to past and also future films. But it was, but it, I don't know, it was just a bit confusing. Other than that, I love this film. This film just blew me away. It is and almost a masterpiece. Captain America The, the Winter Soldier is my favourite film alongside the Avengers in the entire Marvel series so far. Little problems, just tiny little problems, which could have made a perfect score, but because of them, I'm gonna give Captain America The Winter Soldier 4.5 out of five stars. Definitely check, check this out. It's just a well-made film, a spy thriller, a conspiracy film. It is just so well done and with some amazing action sequences. Check it out, you're missing out, and I'll see you guys very soon for my next review, Guardians of the Galaxy. I can't wait to make that for you guys. Stay tuned for more, and have a nice day. Bye-bye. Subscribe, by the way.